Ravenfield just had an absolutely massive update. The game's been out for years. We're still in early access build 21, and I've been playing Ravenfield since 2016. It's very impressive, and I think a round of applause is in order for Steel Raven, the developer of the game. Because a lot of times you don't see games that continually get this love and attention over this amount of time. I'm impressed. And this update, which is Special Operations Part 1. So as you're watching this and you see the gameplay, leave some feedback. And these changes might make it into the game. Is we're gonna go to Spec Ops mode. I feel like Dust Bowl is just a fantastic map for this. So what you're gonna wanna do is choose the Eagle team. Because as the game starts, we're gonna be taking control of Talon. Now Talon is the elite special operations branch of the Eagle, the blue team's military. There's also a new weapon. No, this is not a modded weapon. This is the Patriot Tactical. Now what's about to happen is I've got a squad here. Look Look at that the advisor pox uh pops up good luck team so we're coming in here and we're gonna have randomly chosen objective so if i press the map or if i press tab look at this objectives destroy the blackbird and clear the fortress and they're both on two different parts of the map and depending where i look you'll give these visual indications of where you need to go to complete either objective it's beautiful out here in the desert hold on i gotta i gotta call hq real quick where's the target and what authorization do i have Watch it, six actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. bravo six going dark Look at that. Night vision has been upgraded as well. The units glow a lot. Now, there's a lot of unnatural light around here, so my night vision is a little squirrely. But as we get going, we're going to first clear the fortress. Actually, I feel like we should take out the Blackbird so that they can't get reinforcements. Now, the AI has been significantly upgraded. They'll stick to me like glue. All right. And look at the tack. Oh my gosh, that's spooky. So I've got a red dot sight, a red laser, and then a silencer on my Patriot, which is the best gun in the game, in my opinion. And I've got like much more advanced squad mechanics if I need them. So we're approaching an outpost, but it doesn't look like it's manned by the enemy. They generally will just protect and patrol around objective zones. The AI has been considerably upgraded, right? And they've been giving like a sight or detection mechanic. So it actually allows us to play far more stealthy than traditional Ravenfield in the past. Like their sight range has been reduced to make it more realistic and they've been getting the detection mechanic. So special forces is back on the menu, boys. All right, so as you can see on the map here, once I crest this dune, I should be able to see the Blackbird, which is the transport helicopter, which my goal is to destroy it. So I'm thinking I'm going to have them on hold formation and I'm going to check it out myself. I think I see one. Let's turn off night vision. Okay. Oh, wow. That guy actually blends in very well. It looks like there's three soldiers on patrol. I wish I could go infrared instead of just night vision. That, that might come in special forces part two now where is the blackbird man night vision isn't very good in this situation they blend in very well i think given this situation and that we're outnumbered seven to three well i guess it's four target spotted at the oasis so this is oh wow they're not engaging this is awesome okay so he's got a silent submachine gun him as well and then the two of us here are running with the Patriot Tactical. This game mode is a considerably different experience than in the past. So now let's see if their detection mechanics, it, it'll be visible on my screen. Now I'm not sure, it doesn't look like they're running with night vision. So I'm kind of curious to see how close I can get and how good their detection is. All right, they're holding. So I could pop this guy in the head, but would that alert? That guy's walking away, this guy's walking towards us. They're this is a tricky pattern. Oh, okay. I should be able to knock this guy out. None of them became the wiser. Now, in regular Ravenfield, they would immediately be alerted. So once we get closer, night vision is a little bit better. So let's try, let's see, who's the target to take out? I think what I want to do is actually call the squad in. Gentlemen, attack the Oasis. Now let's drop this guy. No. Shots have been fired just yet from the enemy team. 
So look at these guys. Moving in stealthily. Oh, they're taking fire. I think I think we lost one. You can do it, Talon! Oh god, they're firing at me now. Oh. Oh no! Man down, man down! We lost Talon 1! You mean Bravo 6, right? Well, this is what happens if you die. Fall back, Talon. We need to regroup. And then you get this. A defeat screen. It hurts. But the cool thing about it is... The Spec Ops mode is... They're procedurally generated scenarios. There's four different objective types that can happen at any point on the map. Alright, so destroy a mud skipper, which I believe is the uh, armored personnel carrier. And we need to neutralize a communications officer. Now, one thing that's pretty cool is check out our guys. Like, their Spec Ops gear looks pretty impressive. So, this is us with night vision on. It's a little difficult to make out, but like, they're wearing it looks like body armor. Uh, much more, you know, dark and camouflaged clothing. The night vision goggles. And then it looks like your default squads. I think we've got two ARs and one submachine gun this time. All right, so we've got to destroy a mud skipper. Oh, I've got movement at the temple. So movement at the temple. I need to be far more methodical, I think. But don't you love that Ravenfield, which is at least four years old. I mean, I remember first playing this on itch.io, I believe it was. Or was it Game Jolt? Oh, we got detected. I think he saw me, so there's movement at the temple. I was assuming it was on a patrol on the outside. Don't engage yet. This is awesome. Yeah, thanks for the ammunition. <laughs> okay, so we've got patrol. All right, gentlemen, let's go in. I don't think I need night vision, but especially not inside the temple. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going to be a little bit nerve-wracking. Oh! Dang. Oh god, they saw us! Pull back, pull back, pull back! Keep your heads down. Yeah, right? Let's do a little escape from Targov peek in here. I didn't load grenades, so unfortunately... Oh! Nice, nice shot. Make sure he's down. Pizza's dead. Oh! I got hit, I got hit. I need medic. We'll medicate real quick. Reload our magazines and, uh... Yeah, this is tough because you can't really take advantage as easily. Oh, it's the Ark of the Covenant. Oh, there's the communications officer. He has like a backpack with a ring. Look that way. All right, you know what? Attack the temple. Go, 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 go. You guys clear the way. Look at that. They went in and just wiped the comm officer, which is right here. You can kind of see his radio antenna and his backpack. So we completed that and the objectives have been updated to let us know we're actually doing a good job this time. Very happy to see it. All right, so now we need to go back down to there and hit the mud skipper. Now, this is another one of those attack the vehicles. You see, we've already seen three different objective types already. Attack a fortress, destroy vehicles, the mud skipper and the blackbird respectively. And then we had the dis kill a comm officer. So now I need them to regroup on me, gentlemen. We didn't lose anybody, so... Bravo team's doing well. I'm, I'm very proud of us so far. Now we gotta figure out the best way to approach and attack this next objective. Talon 2, looking at river, multiple targets. That's Thanks, Talon 2. You're very observant. Now what would be really cool is if you could customize the weapons of your team and maybe the personalities. And look at that, look at that. Look at them like they, they're marking the target, but they're not taking him out just yet because what I learned in that first battle was the Patriot has an effective range and I was a little outside of it. So one of the targets, I thought I was going to one tap, but he took multiple hits. We got to get down quickly, but also without hurting ourselves. I don't want to take any fall damage. Okay, so we've got this little patrol. Yeah, he would, I don't think I could one tap him in the head from here. But we want to definitely get those one taps so we're effective and efficient. And I love the little red lasers like this guy, if I told him to attack, he'd be down pretty quick. But we need to take multiple targets. Oh, there's the mud skipper. Okay, I'm crouched, here we go. So I guess one thing I could do is attack the river. And I could soften it up by taking those guys out. Then these three take out what, the last dude? Who's just down. Oh, I missed this guy. Oh, there's another one. Got 19 rounds left in the mag. I wanna reload. I don't know where he is. There's definitely a soldier still alive over here. But where would he have ran to? Oh, ha! <laughs> 
The area is clear. All right, beautiful. So now that the area is clear, I think what I need to do is take out the mud skipper. I did bring some heavy ordnance, but I should pull my guys a little bit away from there because what we need to do. But between the new game mode and the new weapon, there we go. Disabled the mud skipper. So it blows up and Talon 2. We took out the target vehicle. Yes, we did. Keep it up, Talon. Thanks, advisor. All objectives completed. Yes, indeed. Stand by for exfiltration. Oh, wait. Oh, that'd be cool if like a helicopter came in and got you or a V-22 Osprey. Woo, but we did get the victory screen. So now I'm kind of curious if I choose Archipelago and we don't do a night map, what would happen for special forces mode, right? How does it get updated? Do we spawn on the carrier? Because it seems like that'd be pretty fun. Ah, we spawn in the special forces base. I've always called the spec ops base. And it looks like there's a port facility and then that island over there that are the two objectives. So given this, I think I want the scalpel for this. Good luck team. All right, so the objectives are neutralize a comm officer and clear the landing. This is one of those things where if they had like, if you cleared a landing and a new squad came in via Zodiac attack boats, oh my gosh, it would blow my mind. I mean, who knows? The fact that we have this at all is awesome. So one of the things to consider is apparently loud gunshots and the use of vehicles can basically tell the enemy where you are a little bit more than <laughs> say you were running quieter. Enemy man, 200 meters front. What? Oh, he probably sees someone down by the coast. 200 meters though. Oh man, see if I had a sniper. Clearing the landing is here and then the comm officer is over on the island. What I would normally do, like if I was given this objective is definitely clear the landing to allow for like troops to join us. I wonder if that's planned. I would bet a lot of money that it's not in at the moment, but if it did, it would be cool. Now, my guys don't often take the most direct approach. They have kind of like a pathfinding update that keeps them from getting stuck, which I do appreciate, but you have to keep that in mind in certain cases because, because you'll take the shortest route, but they may not. So you may walk in there thinking you have reinforcements. Guys, come on, come on up, regroup. Bob or Talon 3. I shouldn't use your real name. All right, regroup. Now this could be tough. Guard on the post. It'd be cool if you could like ping them, right? Oh man, there's the comm officer. Wait, could he call in reinforcements? This isn't neutralizing the comm officer, I don't think. Or is it? It is. This is the comm officer and he's up there. So I think I, oh, 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 oh. See that little detection meter? All right, I'm gonna try to, whoa. Okay, you guys, you guys stay there. I'm gonna try to sneak around solo and take out just the communications officer. Cause this isn't clearing the landing. But these are like really good early foundations. Okay, comm officer, I know you're, is that you? I've got to stay out of sight, but also pop this dude in the head. All right, I've got an opportunity to sneak by. All right, now we'll go from running to walking, so we're a little more stealthy. And, oh, there, is that him? No, that's his guard. Comm officer. Boom, got him. And I'll take that guy out too. Oh! Oh man, he fired. Okay, that was... That was borked. I thought I I thought I one tapped him. All right, guys. Oh. Shoot. Regroup. I need reinforcements. I need reinforcements, boys. Get them. Nice. Oh, I got taken out. So no. Fall back, Talon. We need a group. I've died a few times, but luckily I got clones. Now, can you be spec ops as the other team? I don't think so. But it's worth a try, right? Oh, these are those encounter maps. Now, I wonder if these also have it. And I'm also gonna just, I'm gonna try as Raven. Oh, oh my gosh, who is that guy? That's cool, so we don't know who it is. But that could be like the leader. Clear east and destroy, see this is another one, destroy ammo crates. All right, so how close are we? Now, one of the things I wanna do now, if I get in this vehicle, dude, I feel like the SAS and like Desert Storm. Oh, and we don't have like, we don't have the special forces gear that Team Talon does. Whoa, what is going on? Have I played this map? Target spotted at the North Hill. So that's the North Hill. Do we go in guns blazing? The answer is yes. It's a special forces update. Woo! <laughs> Get him boys. Attack the North Hill. Go, go, go. 
Ow. We are taking fire. I've lost 30 health. There we go. We dropped a few. I think one of my guys just got taken out by a shotgun. All targets neutralized. Okay, so these are the ammo boxes. Oh, wow. There's a lot of boxes. Oh, snap! Oh my gosh, the ammo boxes just started exploding. I, I took a decent amount of damage there. I was like, is this an ammo box or just a regular crate? Well, you know, like the old like Nintendo 64 games, like Bond? Crates explode again, baby. We're going back to the good old days of gaming. We destroyed the targets of North Hill. I love the effect that when you destroy it, HQ copies all. Who is that guy? Regroup on me. Uh, I sent two of these guys in, but I feel like as Raven, I like to imagine him as like some evil dictator or like a boss from like a Bond movie. So he's like, he doesn't care as much for the lives of his troops, you know, like they're expendable. Whereas Talon is like, they're the good guys, you know, and you got to get into character. So sending your men in and like, we, these aren't even special forces troops, right? Eyes on targets east. Thanks, Raven 4. So... Yeah, because in the description of this update for Ravenfield, they didn't say anything about Raven. It was just Eagle Company with the Talon Elite Special Forces branch. All right, so how many men do we have? That's a lot. That is a freaking lot. So if I can take them out stealthily, that's preferable. But this is, like, it's just open. So let's try night vision. Okay, here we go. Night vision's good. Now, I mean, I'm going to try it. I think what I should do is drop meds immediately and that guy took three but the other guys don't seem to be aware that their buddy died they must not have night vision yeah those guys take like three bullets each it's a little bit tricky now there's only five left i'm gonna i'm gonna send this guy into attack while he's oh Yes, and he survived. We've secured the east. So we'll take the flag, and then I think that should be the objective. Clear east. Yes, yeah, so whoever this guy is, man, that seems to be everything taken care of. And he likes the, to use the word splendid. Stand by for exfiltration. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, Ravenfield Special Operations Update Part 1. What's to come next? What's your constructive criticism and your opinions of it? Good work. We may have lost a few, but they lost more. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Let me know if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.